So I've just recently gotten my nose on Frederick Mall music for a while. Actually, shout out to my good friend Mark. He sent this to me for free uh, along with something that I purchased from him. A uh, very, very generous guy, great guy I do business with. And he sent me quite a bit for, you know, how expensive this fragrance is. So I was really happy to finally try this one because it's getting some talk in the community lately and in some of the Facebook groups. So I'm going to go ahead and share my thoughts on this one. So this is a pretty interesting fragrance. It's definitely one of those love it or hate it fragrances because it can come across weird. I've heard a few people say it kind of smells like dirty hobo feet. Actually, shout out to Michael. He is one of the people that says it kind of smells like dirty hobo feet in the opening. Personally, I don't think it's quite that bad, but I do see where he is coming from. It's got a lot of patchouli right in the opening. And it's got a weird blend of notes. It's got patchouli, lavender, pineapple, vanilla, sugar. So it's kind of a weird mix. And like I said in the opening, you get hit with a lot of that patchouli. And if you couldn't tell, it's kind of more of a dank and dirty smelling patchouli. After that spray starts to settle down though, you start to pick up on a little bit of that sugar, a little bit of caramel, those sweeter notes, which gives it a little bit of a sweet edge to it. Also that lavender starts to come into play and the pineapple as well. And it's really a nice blend of notes. If you can get past that initial blast of patchouli and dankness and you get into the dry down, that's where it really starts to shine, especially on your skin. If you smell this on paper, it may come off differently, but when you have it on skin and you let all those notes start to work together, together, you let all those notes start to work together, those sweet notes come through like that sugar, that caramel, a little bit of vanilla, and it just is gorgeous on skin. I'm really a big fan of this stuff, and I wasn't really totally sure what I was gonna think of it, looking at the notes and seeing what other people thought. But now that I have a sample and I've been able to try it and I've been wearing it, it is gorgeous. It's almost mind-blowing. This is really, really nice stuff, and I've been enjoying it a lot. So like I said, you get hit with a lot of that patchouli right in the opening. But once you dry down, you start to get some of the lavender, vanilla, sugar, caramel, and it really sweetens up a little bit. And that's when it is the most pleasant to me. And I really enjoy it, especially in the dry down. I personally don't mind the opening too much. Um, I know, like I said earlier, people were talking about it has that dirty feet type of smell. I don't think it's that quite bad, but I do still see where people are coming from, and I personally am really been enjoying the fragrance. This one is a pricier one, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't looked into too many of their fragrances. Uh, the 100 ml bottle retails for a little over $300, I think, and you know, that's up there in price, but let me say though, guys, this stuff is gorgeous. I'll probably be doing a split on it soon. A lot of people have just been splitting it recently, and I never really thought to get in on any of them because I wasn't, didn't sound interesting to me. But now that, you know, I've had the sample, I've been wearing it and really been enjoying it, I'll probably have to do one myself. So just great, great stuff. You could pretty much wear this fragrance whenever you want. Again, it does have a little bit of that dankness in the opening, but I feel like once you get to the dry down, you have a really nice, easy to wear scent. You know, it's soft, it's kind of sweet, and it's just something I feel like you, it could work really well Maybe if you're wearing it out during the day to work or whatever the case may be, once you get past that opening and it smooths out, that is when you can really wear it whenever you want. Performance on this stuff is also very good. Been getting about seven to eight hours or so, sometimes a little bit longer, and it pushes out pretty well. Like I just did one spray from this decant onto my hand and it's already, I'm catching whiffs of it easily. So it definitely pushes out well and it lasts a long time. And again, that's just from doing one or two sprays from the sample bottle. And I'm sure that the retail bottles are going to spray differently. They're probably gonna push out some more juice. So, so I would say performance is definitely well above average from what I've been able to test so far. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review. My final thoughts, I really enjoy this fragrance a lot. Again, I wasn't for sure if I was going to, I was you know, kind of on the fence, but it was getting a lot of talk. And when I was buying, I was buying a Duro Intense from Mark and he asked if I wanted to try anything and I saw that he was splitting this. So I said, yeah, this is a sample of music for a while will be awesome. And again, he was kind enough to send me a sample, that gorgeous label, and again, quite a bit in there. And I tried it and it was instantly just clicked for me. I'm like, wow, this is actually really good. So again, that is my thoughts on music for a while. It's great stuff, definitely worth checking out, definitely worth getting a sample first. I would not blind buy this just because that patchouli in the opening and 
that mix of notes that comes across kind of dank and dirty may put some people off but i promise if you get past that and into the dry down it is so much better so guys that's going to do it for this review if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when i post and that's going to do it for me guys i'll see you in the next one peace out